congratulations on the series. How is it taking a book um, like this and then turning it into a series and um, getting what you consider to be the best out of it? How does that work? It's a tall order when you so love and respect the author, which I did before this ever came my way. I was a big fan of her books. So my top goal was to get it right and to have her love the series, which thank God she does. Um, and then, you know, to have this incredible director and this cast, which I still don't really believe is in this show, um, they just elevated the material in ways I could never have expected. So. I'm really glad that the world is finally going to get a chance to see what I've personally been working on for five years, if you can believe it. I started adapting it. The book came out in 2018, so, yes, yeah. So that's pretty much the duration of the book being out. <laughs> yeah, so I had read it just as, you know, a fan, and then started adapting it a year later, and had a crew of writers, and it's been, it's, it's had its, you know, it's been a long time gestating. So is the series as we have it pretty much as you imagined it the first the first time or has it evolved? Can you believe it? It, it is close, but I never thought it would actually get this close because I'm not sure a lot of sort of first-time showrunners dream that Nicole Kidman and Liam Schreiber are going to be, or Eve Hewson or Billy Howell or Jack Rayner. You don't, you don't, I don't dream that big, I don't dare to. So the fact that it actually is what I had hoped it would be is uh, pretty hard to believe. I still don't, you know, I'm still pinching myself. And you have a fantastic cast. And the chemistry between them all is very important because all of the pieces need to work. It's like watching a super group in, <laughs> yeah. in motion. Um, how, how difficult was that to put together, but also how satisfying was it to see that come out? When you have actors of this caliber, I think at some point you just have to step aside and let them do what they do. and that's what happened here they became this family the chemistry between Liev and Nicole is shockingly compelling um, because you have to believe that they're this married couple who've been together a long time but that still have a lot of fire between them and they really achieve that I mean I want to be them is that wrong um, <laughs> the characters uh, so yeah I just I still can't believe my luck with this cast I really can't and also the locations um, fantastic locations which which set the scene perfectly was that difficult to find or did you have those things in mind when you read the book the book evokes the location so well she Ellen Hildebrand is a master of writing food texture smells colors she really does transport you I always say her books are like a vacation on the page and if you can't afford a plane ticket just read one of her books it's really true so it was very important to us to get that right, to get where you can almost smell that sand and that sunblock and you know feel the beautiful textures of those clothes and taste that incredible food at the rehearsal dinner. And so we had an amazing team, a production designer, Sarah Knowles, an incredible costumer, Sina Saland, who Susanna Beer had worked with before. The mise-en-scene is an absolute dream, and I always say I wanted to eat the whole set. I wanted to take every piece of, you know, set dressing home with me. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> for the record. But I wanted to. <laughs> lastly, for you, um, I assume you have plans coming next. If your phone was to ring tomorrow, what would be your ideal show to work on? Well, Nicole and I are talking about something that we're going to do together, so that's a dream come true. And Ellen Hildebrand and I are actually talking about another thing we're going to do together. I can't really say what either of those things are yet. Um, I absolutely love writing murder mysteries and families. So family dynamics, conflict, um, and even earnest family bonds are something I love to explore. Just quickly, there, there seems to be... a. a fabulous community of women creators coming around of directors and writers and actors and things like that. Is, do you see that as being the case? Because I, in a way that it wasn't maybe 10 or certainly 20 years ago. I can speak to that in the context of this show in that there was not a conscious concerted effort to have a mostly female uh, staff of producers or creators. It happened naturally because Every single person who came on and happened to be the right person for that job. It started from the top down with Gail Berman, who sent me the book, and then Susanna Beer, who reacted well to the material, who then called Nicole, who also reacted well to the material. So there are many ways in which it is a female story, 
Um, but it, it wasn't some conscious effort that was named at the beginning that you know we're only hiring women. It just happened. So I think that actually speaks to to progress. It was very organic. Yeah, it was organic. Exactly. Well, congratulations again. <laughs> Thank you. For speaking to us. Thank you for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you 